it's another bright and sunny day. It was actually just freezing, but I'm really hot now. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A about my life and so you can get to know me a bit better. The questions are going to be based on like health, fitness, school, work. So let's get started. Why did I start YouTube? Well, it's actually a weird story how I started YouTube. So back in year six, I did it as like a joke. Like I posted the weirdest stuff. I'm not even gonna talk about that because that makes me wanna cringe. One of my friends, Sheba, said to me that I should make a YouTube channel and post recipe videos on there. Like, that would be a fun idea. My first recipe video, I'll put up on the screen. I also loved making travel videos. I made a montage of me at Easter because we always go away for Easter. I also started YouTube to inspire other people to be healthy, like me, and to share my journey so I can look back on it and be like, oh my god, I remember that. Also, was a great way for me to challenge myself, meet new people, like with the Royal Adelaide Show video. I wanted to do something risky, so I was like, let's go on the scariest ride at the show and film it. And I did that. Are you vegan? No, I am not vegan and it's not like a suitable lifestyle for me. My goal in life isn't to be vegan. I think people that are vegan are really cool and they have lots of morals and stuff. No, no one in my family's vegan. It's nice to have some vegan like snacks and meals and stuff. They don't make me feel gross for me. And like sometimes if you have like heaps and heaps of like dairy or chicken or meat, you feel a bit like So yeah, it's nice to just change things up a bit and try new foods. Do I have any dietary requirements? No, I don't. But I don't eat red meat because I hate the taste, hate the look of it, it's so gross. I don't eat much dairy, but I still do. My mum and my dad want me to eat dairy. Lots of it like, just makes me feel really sick. I could not have cream, like cream makes me want to vomit. But I do have like GoPro and Chobani. What are my favorite things to do in acting classes? My favorite things I've only just started doing, which was dance classes. And I, 50s or 60s style dancing to dress up, wear skirts, but I didn't have a skirt, so I couldn't really do that. So doing the tango and ballroom dancing. It's good for us to learn that stuff, so if we get asked to be in a film, we actually have the experience of dance acting, analyzing, that's what it's called, when you like look specifically at their facial expressions and see how to make things sound real, and you're like, oh, look at that tree over there, wow. Like, it needs to seem real. We did this thing, we like look at their eyes really closely. And like, if they look up there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, it all means different things. Like, to memories, to emotions, to sounds you haven't heard before, to things you haven't seen before. What are my hopes for the future? For my near future, I want to continue working hard at work and save up enough money to buy a MacBook. Enjoy being a teenager, because I won't be a teenager for long. I will. A lot of years. Also prepare myself for the future. I don't want to be living in South Australia. I find it the most boring place in the world. Maybe in Sydney or Queensland. Oh, right. I used to want to live in America so badly, but I just don't see that happening. See where the wind takes me. I just don't want to like just do the bare minimum of everything. I want to put myself to some good use. What is my favorite recipe of all time? That'd have to be smooth balls. I just love smooth balls. So many different flavors, so many different toppings, so many different textures. Where do you get all of your clothes? You probably think I wear the same clothes every day, but I actually have a lot of clothes. I haven't gone shopping in a while, so I don't have any summery stuff. I've got these beautiful leggings from Sarah's Day Cross White Box Boutique, and they are the best leggings I've ever got. Like, I've got grass on my bum. But they're just so good. I'm gonna do an active wear haul soon so you can see all that. This I got from Cotton On, I think. I usually get my clothes from Cotton On or Active Wear. I'm like in Active Wear 90% of the time. Oh, now I'm cold again. Okay. Have you got your back handspring yet? No, I haven't. And I really want to. When I went to do it on the floor, it was completely new and weird. And I just couldn't get it. I kept, like, I'll give you a demonstration. There. And then I go, wee! side and I know my body just does weird things when I'm going backwards my sister can't spot me because she'll drop me on my head how do you never have 
cheat days in your diet. I've been healthy for a really long time. I really enjoy being healthy and I don't crave unhealthy foods. I don't feel like I need to have cheat days because I enjoy what I eat and it makes me feel really good. I just don't really want to have bad food. Like when I go out for dinner for like family occasions and stuff, then I'm not gonna be like, uh. I'm not having anything because that's like that's not a good thing to have. You need to be able to have balance or else it's not worth doing. Never been on a diet. I've always thought of it as a lifestyle. Being healthy is like my way of living. And just think about now, like going back to how I used to, I just couldn't do it. I just, because I'm a teenager, I'm growing. I need these nutrients. I don't want to be like weak bones, weak everything, poor immune system, always getting sick. <clears throat> how do I manage stress and schoolwork? In class, I really focus to get my work done. I don't procrastinate. Sometimes, every now and then, I have to play a bit of Papa Scooperia. Now that I have a job, it gives me more motivation to do it in class so I don't have to do it when I get back from work because that's the most annoying thing ever. How do I balance my job, school, uh, fitness, and social life? I usually work Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. I always make time to see my friends. Like, I see my friends five times a week at school. When I'm going to work after school, I have other friends who work, so they come walk to the village with me, which is where I work. When I do go to the gym, I usually go with friends or friends of my mum, so I'm getting like a social interaction there along with fitness. And also the sports that I do are group sports, so I'm always meeting people there and making friends there. I've also booked off days from work to do my sports and acting classes, so it's not just work every single day of the week, have like nothing else to do. I've got a really good balance. Mondays and Tuesdays are my days like do any work that I have to do. Wednesdays acting, Thursday, Friday work, Saturday social life, Sunday work. Why do I take protein powder and what's my favorite one? I take protein powder because my goal right now is to gain more weight and gain more muscle. I've always been really thin, like pretty weak. The things I do in Tom, like I need to have strength for. Like, I'm not like really underweight, a little bit below the average. So I just want to get back up to a normal weight. What are you doing? Anyway. Um, how do I stay motivated? I always do things that I love, which is living a healthy lifestyle. So I like to change things up so I don't have like the same things to eat every single day. Like sometimes I go to the gym with mum, then I've got sport. I did do soccer for a bit, but the season's finished. And there are just lots of different ways to be active, even if it's like taking your dog for a walk, which I can now do. With eating healthy, I always like to change things up, try new foods, and that just keeps it exciting. And there are so many options. What you see my favorite junk food. Now, I never really had like a favorite that lasts like my whole life. The hot dog and oat chocolate milk. That was just my staple one. Skittles, M&Ms, and Twix chocolate bars. I loved Twix. And what are my favorite junk foods that have been turned into healthy foods? So definitely chocolate milk. I have like chocolate smoothies and stuff with, with like cacao powder, peanut butter, and almond milk. Lollies, lollies that I used to love. I now have dried fruit instead or like just normal fruit. Cocoa Pops, I loved Cocoa Pops and cereals. I've always been a fan of breakfast. I, I swapped that for chocolate bikinis and I get them from Loving Earth. <sighs> they are so good, they taste exactly like Cocoa Pops. <laughs> and if you want some more healthy snack recipes, then I recommend watching my favorite healthy snacks video, which I posted before. Love if you check that out. Big mistakes people make when they're trying to be healthy. I saw this a lot like around summertime. I was like, oh my God, I want to be skinny so I can get like that bikini photo. Which they don't eat enough food. They're not getting enough nutrients in their diet so they're starving themselves and stuff, which is not going to get them anywhere. Thinking, oh, that's my lunch, 20 carrots, I'm full. No, you're just getting like the same vitamins and you're going to get like an overdose of them vitamins. Also restricting yourself from so many foods. A lot of people are like gluten-free, dairy food, but you don't need to be all that stuff if you're not. Not having any social life in their diet take over their life. Oh, I can't go out because I need to eat this certain thing or I have to be super healthy and the place you're going to isn't healthy. I don't have a social life and you're probably gonna lose some friends with that. They don't enjoy what they're doing. There's no point being on a diet or like doing something crazy with your life if you don't enjoy it. Like always do things you like because you only got one life. Let's make the best of it. Wrong intentions when they're starting out. So they might say, I wanna go on a diet so then the boys can look at me and be like, oh my God, she's so good looking, she's so skinny. It's not about that. It shouldn't be about that or else you're just gonna have a really negative mindset and negative relationship with food and that's not good and it's gonna send you down a bad path. Enjoy what you do. Don't be too harsh on yourself. Thank you for tuning in. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't. Bye.
It's so bright. I'm so thirsty. 